Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Today we have mail call. So, problem is, as you can see, this one got smashed. And there's a lot of books in it. So, we'll see. I might have to talk with the person I bought them from, but we'll do that one second. It's going to take a while. The first one's a fairly easy one. <clears throat> I just wanted some more of these books, and I got them really cheap. And hopefully they're not screwed up either. I was going to say effed up, but with the real word. I don't have a real filter in my mouth. Either way, let's take a look. Hopefully these are good. Not the best job of of uh, putting them in. But oh well, if I can do that now. They only cost two dollars and some odd cents plus shipping for all three of them, so. I'm surprised nobody else jumped on this one. I just like this book. I've had it since I collected. I have a version of it, but I wanted to get one CGC. Then, of course, my version has a weird white spot on the back, so I was looking for other versions of it. So, random eBay buyer. Got three, di three of the same book. So, as you can see, the Magneto Zeros. Oh, he taped them together, too. Gee. Not really needed, but hey. Let's get that out. Let's see if they're in... What kind of shape we're talking here? Hopefully, they're... oh, of course, you tape them all around together. I'm gonna pick the best one and send it off just for to get it graded, just for fun, just to have one graded. I'm gonna do a preview of about 25 different books and try to get 9.6s at least out of them. Hopefully, everything I send will. So, one of these is going to go into my. Hopefully, I'll have to take it out and look at each one, but hopefully, they're good enough shape to go in. Okay, I shouldn't have damaged any of this. It's all the same exact book. Actually, they look extremely... There's no tick marks that I can see along the edges. <clears throat> Looks like they did 30 years ago when I first got this book. But, also, I think it's just kind of cool and different. So this is my first mail order of the day. That, I'll rebag them and do like the second one. It's really heavy. There should be a lot. Let's see if anything got damaged. Hope not. Let's take... Uh, oh, oh, wow. Yeah, this thing is going to be fucked up in one way or another. Oh, my God. You could have done a better job packing them. I'm sorry, dude. I know I didn't pay you that much for 100 for 40 books, but... Jesus. These things... Oh, well. I paid, I think, $3 a book. So, we're going to take each one out and check them, but... I, not any major damage. Corners are a little messed up. These are the ventricular homage pages. So, this one is Thor and Captain Marvel. Damn. <sighs> Sucks they got damaged. Fantastic Four and Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. I'm assuming it's the Moon Girl Devil Dinosaur. They're lenticular covers. When you move them, they switch. So he's got five dollars. Fantastic Four Monsters Unleashed. I just really fell in love with one of them and I had to get the rest of them. So I think this is all 40 of the first release. God, that thing got crunched. I don't think the book did, but I'm still gonna re I'll rebag and board them myself. This one looks like Amazing Spider-Man and Captain America Behind the Bars. Here would be Man of War, which I remember that cover. The other one is... God, I can't make some of these out. So it's, the, it's the Punisher, but still. It looks like Man of War 212 or the Punisher or something. This is one of the ones I really wanted. It looks pretty good. Uncanny X-Men, I have this one in regular. And uh, what's the other book that's with it? I can't. Oh, it's Uncanny X-Men and... This is Variant Edition. Marvel Legacy. I can't make out what it is. Wow, Ryan... They don't really go that differently. They don't really... Kind of neat. Secret Warriors, I guess. I guess these were all variant editions of these comic books they did. So, little edge things, but I don't see anything major in the comic. I might see you see a few of these, just because I like the artwork. And how it works. Incredible Hulk, and... They're really hard... She-Hulk. Interesting. So... Kind of a neat cover. Amazing Spider-Man, everybody knows this one. The Venom is Back issue, which I think I own this one still. 
So he has a wall marked between five and eight dollars each. I paid like less than that. So it's McFarlane and the other book here is Spider Gwen? Yeah, Spider Gwen. Huh. Number twenty five. Amazing three sixteen. This one is King Size Special Spider Man and the Amazing Spider Man King Size Special and Spider Man two thirty four. So, next one, Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man, and Spider-Man vs. Deadpool. So you got Kraven, and then you got Kraven and Spider-Man, and then you've got Deadpool and Spider-Man. This is the one I really wanted. It was that amazing cover of Giant Size X-Men. Put in with, I think that is Spirit of Vengeance Ghost Rider, maybe? There it is. Yeah. It's kind of neat. <coughs> Famous Galactus cover. That's a really good one. It's number one of a two-shoe limited series. I used to have that one. And it is, oh god, the unbeatable Squirrel Girl. That, yeah, that's weird. We have the Uncanny Avengers. I'm mean, sorry, yeah, the Uncanny Avengers and Avengers. Two different covers. Fantastic Four, and what's the other one? I can't, they don't really lenticulate. US, USA, oh, they don't, I don't know what that is. Oh well. Still a cool cover. Amazing Spider Man, um, and what's the other one? Venom. It was Amazing Spider Man and Venom books differently. It's got, it's almost exactly the same them climbing the wall if you can make that out. Weapon X. I don't know if that's the original or the new. And the other cover is another Weapon X. So it's just like him old and him new. So that's kind of cool. X-Men. That would be Longshot and Mojo in the front. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can't believe they're still using that storyline from 30 years ago. And X-Men Blue. So kind of cool. Another famous cover, X-Men Gold, and of course, X-Men 100. That one's really easy to tell. Wolverine, son versus daughter. Didn't you know he had a son, jeez. And looks like it's a Fantastic Hulk, f Fantastic Four, Hulk versus Thing. There's another one of these up there with all 40 of them, and like this one got roasted, it looks like. Yeah, this one got crushed in the thing, so I might have to replace a few of them. But I'll rebag and board them and flatten them out. Uh, some of these I'm not getting, you know, I'm only getting the cool ones. Sorry about moving the camera, that was my foot. <clears throat> this is the Avengers, and uh, it looks like also the Avengers. Just new and old. Avengers vs. X-Men. Old issue of Avengers 53 and Avengers 672, maybe? They kind of tried to use the same ones, I guess, in a lot of them. Another one got roasted on the corner, but not bad. Amazing Spider-Man and Ben Riley the Scarlet Spider. Famous cover. I, I just, I don't know why I fell in love with these. This is a famous cover. Everyone should know that one. I'm getting this one CGC'd right now. Corner took a little hit. May not have actually hit the comic. Got lucky. I have this one getting CG, this original cover, which is, uh, what, the Hulk 166. And then the book that's underneath it is Black Panther, no, Black Panther 166 is Thor 340. Um, this one is the first appearance of Cable, New Mutants, and what's the other one? Uh, oh wow. New Mutants and Cable. So yeah, it's a Cable number 150 and New Mutants 687. Oh, a really famous Hulk number one, and Captain Marvel number 125. Neat. This looks like Avengers Annual. I had this one, the Evolutionary. I don't have it anymore, but... And Champions World Collide. Wow. Another really good X-Men cover. I don't own this one, the original X-Men 135. And underneath it is a Daredevil 595. So, Defenders, 
and the Avengers. So Avengers number 16 and Defenders number 6. <clears throat> Here's the course. Marvel respect, uh, Amazing Spider-Man 129, first appearance of Punisher. That's morphing into the Despicable Deadpool 287. Yeah, it took a hit. Uh, it might be damaged. Doctor Strange 177. And wow, I can't even. They're both Doctor Strange, I guess. Interesting. 381 morphs into 177. And there's a 40 books here, guys. It's a lot. Then we've got wow, Iron Man, the Invincible, Iron Man number. I can't make it out. And Falcon looks like a Falcon book. Yeah, it's Iron Man and Falcon. <clears throat> Generation X. This is an old one I had back in the day. And what's the book that it comes out to? I am not sure. Wow. Uh, might both be Generation X. All new number one Generation X. Huh. Neat. A Fantastic Four particular cover and it is a the unbelievable Gwenpool huh cool can't tell you the numbers it's been caught up champions number six little Hercules and wow some interesting characters and it's morphed into Iceman number six so kind of has the same cover in the front with Archangel wow it's almost every Kind of looks almost the same. That's kind of cool. Incredible Hulk, Planet Hulk, 94. And we have Incredible Hulk, number part three of four, The Return of... God, I can't tell. Sorry. Iron Fist. Iron Fist, number 14. And what's the other one? Uh, I'm just bad at this, I guess. Lenticular covers get me, but I like them. Invincible Iron Man, 150, him and Doctor Doom, and the other one is also Invincible Iron Man, but it's not Doom. Oh, no, okay, that's yeah, a different Doom. And Jessica Jones, and this one is Spider-Man, Marvel Team-Up Spider-Man, Moon Knight, Iron Fist, Power Band, Daredevil. Wow, the one I had, the one I got in the thing isn't in here. Interesting, I guess they had different versions of these. I like these. We have Luke Cage Hero and Luke Cage Hero for Hire. 166 and number one. So, neat. And finally, The Thing in the Human Torch and a Fantastic Four 159 and Thing Human Torch number one. So yes, I now own a crap ton of lenticular covers, covers they call them, but I just thought they were neat. Thanks for watching.